I think people should not think of foster kids as any different than any other kids. All the youth that I've met in the three years that I've been doing this work are funny and silly and vulnerable and romantic and musical and athletic and artistic and all the things that you think of when you think of young people growing up and, and facing challenges. I think it's really important not to think of foster youth as any strange fruit over on the side. I think that they are just as much a part of the fabric of our society and just as much a part of our world as any child and they need the same things that all kids need. Foster youth are resilient foster youth are also quite vulnerable and foster youth are accustomed to being disappointed so I think it's really important when you work with foster youth to keep your word because they have trust issues and it's understandable if you know anything about the instability and the inconsistency in their young lives so I think that foster youth are very very vulnerable and they want to trust and I think it's our responsibility to to, to be dependable so they can trust. Every time I meet a young person, when they start to trust me and when we can sit down and really talk, I am overwhelmed by the stories and some of the lives that some of these young people have led. I had an assistant when I was first working two years ago. He was one of 11 children. All of his brothers and sisters grew up in foster care. He went into care when he was one and he aged out at 21 and he is one of the most together smart funny ambitious young men that I've ever met and so I just marvel at the stories because I see that if a young person can meet those challenges and have that kind of adversity in an early part of their life and still get it together and grow up and finish college and get married and do all of those normal things um, then I think that it just shows you the human spirit is capable of just about anything. I would like to tell people who want to get involved that even small things can make a huge difference. If you only have a couple of hours a week that you could devote, you could still be a mentor or just somebody that can talk to or listen to or counsel a young person. And the ways that you can help are things like helping them fill out their college applications or their FAFSA forms or even to get them to think about college as a possibility. Just in a conversation, you never know how easily you could actually change somebody's life. <music>